Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're going to be talking about circle hook jig heads. These are essentially just a jig head, but instead of you know a standard J hook on there, you're going to have a circle hook with the you know point of the hook facing 90 degrees or facing directly back towards the shank of the hook. I've seen quite a few questions about these, you know, what you would use them for. So I want to talk about that in this video. So to start off, as most of us know, you know, when you're using artificial lures, you really don't want to be using circle hooks because our natural instinct with a, uh, you know, artificial lure when it's on the move and we get a strike is to set the hook really fast. And you're not supposed to do that with circle hooks because you'll end up just pulling the hook out of the fish's mouth. So you do not want to use artificial lures with these types of jig heads. However, there can be instances where you may be, you know, dead sticking an artificial, such as a gulp shrimp or a gulp jerk shad. In that case, you can get away with using these circle hook jig heads because that bait is just gonna be sitting on the bottom when you dead stick. And when a fish picks it up, it's gonna pick it up and run off with it. And that's when you would just apply pressure, you know, on your rod and your line to get that hook set on the corner of the fish's mouth with a circle hook but I would not recommend using these circle hook jig heads with you know, paddle tails or lures that you're gonna be moving through the water pretty quickly because again, natural instinct when we get a strike with that lure on the move is to set the hook and you're gonna miss a lot of fish with circle hook jig heads that way. So the main purpose of these is to use with live bait, cut bait, dead bait, because you know when you're using a standard jig head with a standard J hook, as you can see there, that's a standard J hook. If you're using these hooks with live bait or cut bait, there's a good chance you will end up gut hooking a fish because you're typically you know, letting your bait sit there on the bottom. And when a fish picks it up, they're gonna pick it up, swim off with it and start to swallow the bait. And that's when they can get gut hooked with that J hook. With circle hook jig heads, just the opposite. You know, When you have live or cut bait on there, when a fish picks it up, runs off with it, that hook is gonna to start to come out to the corner of the fish's mouth and hook that fish properly, especially if you are fishing catch and release. Now what's really nice about these jig heads, I really like using jig heads with cut bait and live bait when I'm trying to keep that bait in one spot. So let's say I'm fishing you know, a pothole out on the flats and I wanna keep that bait in that pothole. This is nice and compact with the weight being on there and the circle hook as opposed to having to rig up an entire rig with an egg sinker or a split shot and a hook and a swivel and all that. So nice and compact and easy to use. Also, these can be great for, you know, drifting baits behind the boat. If you're trolling, you know, a shrimp or a live mullet or something like that behind the boat and you wanna keep it down at a certain depth, having a jig head like this can definitely help. You just nose hook that bait or you uh, nose hook that shrimp or whatever bait you're using. That way you can drift it right behind the boat nice and slowly and keep it down in the middle to the bottom of the water column where those fish are. Now, something else I wanted to point out here is that you will notice some of these jig heads do come with barbs on them, just like uh, you know a jig head for artificial lures would. And then some come without a barb on them. Now, ideally, if I'm fishing cut bait, you know, that can definitely help keep that bait up there on the hook. You can just slide that piece of, you know, cut mullet or cut ladyfish up over those barbs to help keep it on there a little bit more secure. And then if I was using live bait, you know, live, uh, live shrimp, live bait fish, I would go with the one without the barbs just because you don't really need them. But if you needed one jig head, I would definitely go with the one with the barbs. That way you can use it for live bait or cut bait with no problem. So hopefully this will help answer any questions you may have about circle hook jig heads. Again, not recommended for artificial lures unless you're dead sticking those artificial lures. And what I mean by that is when you're using really smelly soft plastics and you just cast them out, leave them down there on the bottom, you know, such as gulp, fish bites, any of those products that have a really strong scent to them that you can basically just cast out to a school of fish or just cast out to, you know, a feeding zone and wait for those fish to come find them. But cut bait, live bait, this is going to be the go-to type of jig head for that. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.